All right, so what I want to show you some footage that I took on December the 18th at 2.35 p.m. And what we have here is the moon, a daylight shot of the moon with the sun also. As Jaron would say, let's roll that beautiful bean footage. And like I said, this is 2.35 p.m. in Tennessee, December 18th, 2015. We'll pull out here now, and I want to just show you that we have the, the sun is shining. Of course, you can tell the sun's shining, so I'll pan over here. No edits, no cuts. It's just a straight, straight pan to show you the sun's in the sky. No big deal. We have the moon and the sun in the sky here at the same time, so I wanted to check uh, all the way around the back side of the globe, Australia. Yes, Australia, we have the moon at 52.8 percent, and uh, it's uh, 4, 32, 51 a.m. I think the sun will rise. I looked at it as I can remember. It either said 5.38 a.m. or 5.39, so what's a minute? They can see 52% uh, of the moon in Australia at the same time, apparently, that we can see from Nashville, Tennessee. Let's see here. Yep, 52.8% also in Nashville, Tennessee. At a time of, I think it says 2.54. And I, I may not be getting the times right, but you know they're very close here. Uh, and of course it's December 18th here. So what I want to get to is a little Google map here and, and show you that there's the United States. I've actually got it marked on Tennessee. And we spin the Google globe around to P uh, Perth, Australia. I think it's 11,100 something miles. I'm not exactly sure. But explain to me how in the world, if the moon is in Australia, you can see it in the United States or vice versa. The moon's in the United States and you can see it in Australia. So I got a little experiment here with a, with a globe and a moon we're going to do. There we go. Here comes our moon in. Here's South America. And you see the United States rotating around. So everybody's seeing the moon here in Tennessee and the United States also. And uh, as our moon comes around the globe, we see that here comes Australia. And right now, there's no way you could see the moon in the United States. But they say you can. There's no way on a ball that you're going to tell me that you can be on one side of the ball and see on the other side of the ball. I took this outside with a globe, uh, set it up, and even if I get up high or low, and with the globe tilted at 23 degrees, there's, there's just no way. It doesn't matter how far you walk back to, to look at it. You cannot see the opposite side of the globe. It's not going to happen. Flat Earth, it's over. The moon shows the truth. It is a flat plane that we live on and if you enjoyed this video thank you very much and i might make more i might not but uh, thank you a lot for watching today we examine a massive globe religion contradiction the tiny centrifugal force of spinning the tiny centrifugal force of spinning makes you less than 10 ounces lighter at the equator. The tiny centrifugal force of spinning stretches the equatorial diameter of the globe by 26 miles. Creating a bulge 13 miles tall of loose sand and water hundreds of miles wide all along the equator. How y'all doing? I'm Dan's uh, cousin from uh, Tennessee. That's right, that's right. And let me tell you something. If you're gonna hang out with Dan, you got to get yourself together. Now, you gotta have your Dan official Walmart tank top. That's right, that's right. You gotta have it, you gotta have it. Cousin Dan, he told me where to get them, and he get them at Walmart, and I love them. I love them. That's right. Another thing, if you're going to hang with Dan, you got to have the Dan All-American haircut. That's right. You got to have the All-American haircut. That's all there is to it.
Yeah. A bit nipper out here today though, Dan. So anyway, we get here in that space station there. It won't be so cold, I don't guess. I don't know. But anyway, all I want to tell y'all was Dan is a good, good fella. I really love watching his videos and all y'all people that shilling on Jan, uh, Dan and saying all them mean things to him and all that, that stuff's going to stop. Because if I have to come find you myself, because, you know, I don't mind rolling. Dan, he's a, he's a nice fella, you know, but I, I tell you this, if you go up around Dan's house messing around, it ain't going to be pretty for you. That's all it is to it. It ain't going to be pretty. But I'm going to tell you this right now. You messing with Dan, Dan got a lot of friends. He got thousands of friends. We will come and put a foot up your ass. Especially uh, Cousin Bob down in Tennessee, cause I love to roll. I, I roll in a minute. Now, Dan, he done put out videos. You know, he got to talk about the stars not moving on the spinning globe, how the stars are always up there. And I like that. I like the one where he, he, he you know, he, he'll tell you real quick, there ain't no trillions of tons of ocean water can stay on no damn round ball and that not and not all that weight and force kill you. It would just crush you if you lived on a round ball and it was strong enough to hold all that water on. Now, y'all need to have more common sense than that. Now, I'm gonna tell you this. Uh, Dan, he puts out good videos. He's a nice fella. And y'all just need to get off his back and just let him go because we got to have a Dan video every day because we don't get a Dan video, it ain't a good day, and y'all know it ain't a good day. Now, I'm going to grab this here thing. This, a lot of people, this is their God. See if we can hypnotize them with it. This is their God. They just love their round ball. You know, y'all want, you want your round ball? Let me give it to you. Ah, you ain't getting no round ball here, boy. Boo. You on a round ball, it's March Madness. Go play you some basketball. You want a round ball, but if you want a round ball, come and take this ball. Can you take this ball? I bet you can't take this ball from me. I guarantee you, you can't take this ball from me. But y'all can keep on living on your devil ball and worshiping this thing. Look at this. That's pitiful. That's some pitiful crap right there. But... You do what you want to. Take your ball and go home. I don't care. But I'd hate to think I lived on a piece of junky crap like this. That's right. Everybody doesn't know the world is flat. Everybody doesn't say it's flat. Dan done told us it's flat. It's flat. And that's all it is. To it is flat. Now, take your ball and go home. Take your ball. Take your ball. Because I won't get back to some basketball because it's March Madness time. That's right. It's March Madness time. So let me put this up. <laughs> so in closing, <coughs> I just want to say that we love Dan's videos. And the best uh, imitation, I ain't very good at imitating, but the, but flat, the best flattery there is is imitating uh, somebody. And uh, I just... Uh, I want to tell you, Dan, hey, man, keep it up. I, I love it. it. It makes my day to see your videos, and uh, we got to have it. Let's see. Y'all look back in here. Oh, uh, what's that, Scott Kelly, the astronaut? He was in here. I done kicked his ass. Look, ain't nobody in the ISS. Or what is it called, the ISIS Space Station or the, or the International Space Station, whatever it is. But look, I'm telling you, it's empty. Ain't nobody in there cause I done kicked their ass. I, I fold them out. All they did was fall out the parking lot cause y'all know they ain't in space. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a good one. It was nice. Dan, you keep it up, brother. Hi. Fly Earth is a runaway train. Nothing can stop it. That shit crazy Looney Tunes globe heads are filling the insane asylums as all the dominoes of their religion have now fallen. Rockets and jet planes fly by pushing off of the atmosphere. Jet planes burn fuel to turn turbines to compress air and blow it out the back of the engine. Rockets use the expanding gases of combustion directly through a cone-shaped nozzle.